Hey guys, welcome back to my page. Today we're gonna to be doing a 15 minute workout for those who have any type of ankle or foot injury. Sherry's here with me today because she has a true um, foot injury. And I used to get patients that told me they weren't able to exercise because their foot is hurt. So this shows you, you can dare to be active with um, no excuses. Always check with your doctor though before you do the exercises just to make sure with whatever injury you have, um, you're still able to exercise. So let's get into the workout. Okay, so this workout is going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off for five exercises, and then we're gonna finish with a five minute, every minute on the minute. Um, finisher. Obviously my ankle injury is fake. This is just to show you guys um, how you cannot put any weight through that foot while still doing the exercises. So you ready? Ready. Okay. So we're going to start in 15 seconds. So the pillow here is just to show you you could also rest your foot on something as you do this. So the first exercise is going to be a push-up um, to a superman. Three. Exercise one. There we go. So we're going to lower from our push up up into our super. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Rookie is always here with us, helping us do our workouts. <laughs> Good job, guys. So remember, with our push up, our, our tail is tucked That's under. And make sure you engage your core before you push back up from that Superman. Good job, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. Okay, the second one is a side plank crunch. One of my favorites. So we're gonna be on our left elbow. Your foot is still nicely supported on this little pillow. Three. How's your two, foot doing? Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Exercise two. Let's so up on our side plank and then we're gonna crunch and then reach back out. Make sure you're remember always pushing away from the floor if you're on that arm. Good job guys. So I talked about how you know, this should be a no excuses workout. If you keep your body moving, even if you're injured, you're gonna feel so much better and your recovery might be faster because everything's moving, everything's pumping, your brain is working, like it's still in that movement mode. So you really Three, wanna try to keep two, doing something. One, rest. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna come now on our elbows and knees with a bent knee hip extension pulse. So we're working on that glute. So we'll start on our right side. Three, two, one. That. Exercise three. Good, and then we're just gonna pulse up from here. Nice, small range of motion, end range hip extension. Make sure your belly button is to your spine, ribs are tucked in. Check in, see how your core is. Hip extension is gonna vary with how much range of motion you have. My hip flexors and quads are tight, so mine is not gonna be very much. Sherry's looks pretty good. You're a little tight, Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> Shout, guys. Relax that foot if it's Three, an injured one. Two, one, rest. Good job, so we're gonna stay on our right leg for this last exercise, or no, second to last exercise. Three, two, All right. one. So now we're gonna stay in this exercise position four. and we're just gonna extend the foot and bring it back. So kind of do a little knee pump. This is working that glute and hamstring. Again, you're, this is gonna be limited by your range of motion. So don't worry if your leg isn't all the way up here because then you're probably just moving from your back versus your hip. Hi, DJ. Good. Ricky helping you? Yep. <laughs> She's a good trainer. Yes, she is. Oh, she's tired. 
my glutes are on fire. On three, <laughs> two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, so the last one is a shoulder tap, but we're going from our knees so that we're not putting any weight through that foot. So nice, strong position. You can spread your knees a little further apart three, for this exercise. Two, It'll make you a little bit more one. stable. Exercise five. And then we're just gonna tap the shoulders. Nice little core and shoulder exercise. You wanna make sure you're not getting a lot of wobble. So you're not kind of doing this as you're doing this exercise. Nice job, Sherry. Check in to see what your upper body's doing. What is your neck Three, doing? Two, one, rest. Nice job. Now we're going back to the beginning. So modified push-up to a Superman. See the ankles Three, feel nice and supported. Two, one. Exercise one. So we're gonna lower down. Good, and then up into that Superman. Sherry, do you mind telling them what your foot injury is as we do this? I have a posterior degeneration of the tibial tibial tendon tendon yep <laughs> that's halfway so basically her arches are collapsing so she has to have some support through her foot right now until they figure out she's gonna go get some physical therapy yes gold then, star then they'll figure out what to do from there three two one Rest. Nice job. Side plank crunch. We're gonna go from the left side now. Support that ankle still. Three, two, one. Exercise two. And here we go. Crunch and extend. Again, I said it before, but I just wanna reiterate, just make sure if you have an ankle injury, if you're working with a physical therapist or with your doctor, just double check with them that you want to try to do some of these exercises. Because obviously it depends on what your foot injury is um, to whether you can do some of these. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice, so now back to that bent knee hip extension. We're gonna do our left side now. So we're on our elbows. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Lift me up. And just that nice small end range pulse. Good. Check in, oh gosh, ribs are tucked in. Belly button to spine, a little bit of that tail tucked under. None of this position. Tuck it in. Good job, guys. Nice job, Sherry. Good form. This always gives me gives me the shape. Oh man. Three, <laughs> two. One, rest. Nice job. Then we'll do that, those knee pumps in that extended hip position next. Three, two, we go. one. Exercise four. So we're hip extended, and then we're gonna straighten. And because this side is tighter on me, I really have to fight through some of these substitutions I'm trying to do for hip extension. I'm trying to turn my body. So you really have to try to be in tune with, listen to what your body is doing and see if you can then correct if you feel like you're shifting. Remember you can always go lower if up here is too difficult to maintain this position. Three, two, 
three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Last exercise is the shoulder taps. Ten minutes always goes by so fast. So fast. I love it. <laughs> three, two, go. one. Exercise five. You could always spread your knees further apart for more stability. Or if that's too easy, you can always put your knees closer together. How's your foot feel, Sherry? It's good. Good. Okay. Perfect. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Nice job. So that was the 10 minute round. Then now we'll finish with the five minute ab finisher. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Exercise start, one. Starting with the dead bug. Back flat to the floor. And then we're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Then come back. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Come back. Remember for Anything on your back, you want to double check, is your back flat to the floor? Can you stick your hand underneath if you can? Then you need to readjust, press down, and then keep going. And you can keep your range up here. That's halfway. If that's easier for you to keep your back flat on the floor. Yeah, really hard, right, Sherry? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Three, two, one. Exercise two. Nice job. We're going to go right into a slow bicycle. So I say slow because people oftentimes do these really fast and it's really uncontrolled. So I want you to go nice and slow. Be very purposeful with your movement. And you see how we're just kind of lightly supporting but kind of behind our ears so we're not cranky on our head at all. So I'll go in line with you. There we go. Same thing with the dead bugs. Make sure you're staying nice and flat to the floor. If you do things with slow and control and purposeful movements, they're going to seem a lot harder because you're using the correct muscles. If you go really fast and you're kind of all over the place, then three, they'll two, probably be easier to be honest. One. Exercise three. All right, straight into this straight leg sit up. So we're reaching back, sitting up tall, and then coming back down slowly. There we go. Good. Nice job. So I got my nice foot rest. Nice little hamstring stretch. Nice job, guys. How's your foot doing, Jerry? Good. Good. Nice and relaxed but my abs aren't. <laughs> exactly what we want. <laughs> Three, two, one. Exercise. Okay, we're going now straight into a cross body sit up. So legs are a little further apart. We're coming up, reaching down towards that right side, and then back down. Coming up. Oops, I said right side the first time I met left. You know, tomato, tomato. Reach. Ah, that hamstring stretch feels good. So good. And reaching. Nice. 
nice and controlled. Nice job. Last one is suitcases. So we're kind of starting in this kind of half V position. We're going to straighten out and come back up. Sherry's going to be doing the modified version, going one leg at a time. It'll be a little bit easier on those hip flexors and abs. Again, light touch on the toe with the modified version if you have that true, true ankle or foot injury. This is the last one, guys. Only 30 seconds left, less than 30 seconds. Nice job, Sherry. Nice form. See how her back is nice and flat? She's really engaging that core. Three. Woo! Yes. Nice job. High five. All right, guys. So that was a 15 minute workout. If you do have an ankle or foot injury, you have no excuses, but make sure you check with your doctor first. And yeah, nice job. Again, comment below. We'll do some other exercises you can do if you have a different injury. The whole point of these is that you're still staying moving. You're still staying active um, and you have no excuses. All right, guys. See you next time.